my name is Brighton Butler and I'm so excited to be here today with Cheryl interviewing her to tell you guys a little bit more about what she does. I'm Brighton Butler, I'm a new mom and I've worked with Cheryl over the past few months with my son Ford, who you hear in the background, he's here with us as we're filming this. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Okay, I am a postpartum doula and I'm also a newborn care specialist. Mm -hmm. My company is called Baby Moon Concierge and it's located here in the Dallas Fort Worth area. So how did you get into this business? Well, I started out as a nanny, mm -hmm. a temp nanny. And one day, one of the, the mom that I had, she had just had a baby and I was watching the, the toddlers and she wanted me to watch her baby. And after I watched her baby, the baby fell asleep. Mm -hmm. And then she came downstairs after about an hour, saw the baby sleep and started screaming at me. Oh. And it scared me. I didn't know what was going on. And I didn't understand how, why she was screaming at me for no reason. And um, later on that evening, I went home and I started to research about depression in new moms and it said that sometimes a postpartum doula could help a new mother and I didn't know what a postpartum doula was yeah so I started to research it and then within a month I went through postpartum training wow and so that's you how just I kind of called to that yes I did because I understand how postpartum mothers are you right know? and we go through a lot of emotional ups and downs and right I thought that I could be the best person to help, so that's Absolutely. what was my calling. Actually, I really started out as a birth doula, uh -huh. and then I transitioned to postpartum, but postpartum has always been my passion. Because you saw that need. Yeah. I totally get that. So, and there's so many birth doulas out there anyway. Right. Yeah, but there's no not that many postpartum doulas. Right, and um, I know you had told me about this earlier, but tell us a little bit about what a postpartum doula does. Okay. A postpartum doula is someone who helps the mother. They're there for the mother. They're there for if a mom has just had a C-section and they need extra help. They are like the extended family mm -hmm. that uh, we uh, moms need because a lot of us are bi by coastal, right. by live in different states. Mm -hmm. And sometimes they need extra help. Having a baby is, it's labor intense. It takes a village. And you cannot just come back and do uh, the, the same things that you did when you, you had, right. before you had a baby. So we're there to do the cooking. We can do cleaning. We are there to assist with other family members, helping them transition the new baby if you have a toddler. Um, sometimes we take uh, your other toddlers to school. Um, we are there to help you take a shower when you need <laughs> one because new moms sometimes they just want to stare and look at their baby for weeks and not take a shower. <laughs> so we have to kind of direct them, oh, you can take a shower now, you know. Yeah. So we are there to basically like the aunties, the grandmoms, mm -hmm. we just help you help you get back to yourself again. Absolutely. can take all the help needed. Yeah, it really does yeah. take a village. Yeah, it does. So I know you're also a newborn care specialist. Yes, yes. Tell yes. us a little bit about what that is. Well, as the postpartum doula, they are just basically there for the mother and they can take care of the baby. But a newborn care specialist is someone that is trained in newborn care and we can basically detect certain things uh, we take care of all the baby's needs we help with the uh, setting up a nursery we teach we educate the family on how to formula feed mm -hmm. properly how to look for colic or reflux right, there's just or, so much information yes and a lot, a lot of right now what we're finding is i came up at a time where I was, we went through, through high school, we did home economics. And what we're finding is that there's, home economics is not offered anymore in mm -hmm. school. So we get a lot of these new parents who don't know how to take care of a baby, never touched a baby, but they want to have a baby. Mm -hmm. So as a newborn care specialist, we can come in, teach parents how to properly take care of a baby, how to soothe the baby, how to take give a baby a bath. Mm -hmm. um, we help with bottle feeding, sleep training, sleep conditioning, 
And so that's what a newborn care specialist is, is basically we are there just for the baby. A lot of times we come in at night, um, sometimes at 10 o'clock or maybe earlier, mm -hmm. and we are there to help the parents get the much needed rest that they need. And so we diaper change the baby at night, mm -hmm. feed the baby at night. Also, if you're breastfeeding, you know, instead of you get, getting up and getting the baby, we'll bring the baby to you. Right. We'll let the baby um, nurse and then we'll take the baby. Uh, and we will um, burp them, swallow them, and put them back to bed. And you don't have to do anything. That's amazing. So I know I've heard of a night nurse. This is different than a night nurse, right? Yes, it's different from a night. There's night nurses or night nannies. A night nurse would be someone that has medical training. Mm -hmm. um, they are there sometimes with um, moms who have babies from the NICU. They have special feeding. In fact, I do have a night nurse that works with me. Uh, she's an RN and I give her a lot of the, the babies that have, that have just come from the NICU. And so um, she's there to train, she's trained for that mm -hmm. specific thing. Um, a night nanny is basically like a babysitter. Mm -hmm. They're not, they don't have extensive training like a newborn care specialist, but they can basically help a parent at night mm -hmm. uh, with bottle feeding and that sort, but they are not, they are parent directed. Right. A newborn care specialist directs the parents. Gotcha. But a night nanny, the parent directs the, uh, the night nanny. Got it. So if you suspect a child has an illness, can you give medical advice? Well, I don't, we're not trained to get med give medical advice, but if I see something, I will address it to the parents to, to possibly go to a pediatrician. We're really not to give medical advice, although I know we know that some things, but for insurance purposes, we're not allowed to give medical, medical advice because we're not, we're, not, we're not medically trained. Totally makes sense. Mm -hmm. So tell me a little bit more specifically about what postpartum doulas do or like what some of the tasks might be. Okay, some of the tasks of a postpartum doula could be running errands for moms, um, doing laundry, mm -hmm. um, doing the family laundry or the baby laundry. Oh, that's not nice. <laughs> we do, um, we don't do a lot of um, hard cleaning, but we do straightening up. Right. We can take your child to the the nursery. Mm -hmm. um, I've driven uh, toddlers to their daycare. Mm -hmm. um, I have run errands for the moms. Um, I help with the the formula. I make mm -hmm. the formula. I cook. Some of the moms can't cook, and That's so incredible. I do a lot of cooking. I love to cook. Um, I love to bake. I've, I've done baking for moms. I've done um, meal prep for the moms. It really just sounds like a great godmother. Yeah, it is. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> With experience yeah, and training. Yeah. And training. And then, you know, like we there for, uh, we can help um, take care of the babies too. Yeah. Yeah. So. That's incredible. Well, I hope that answers some of y'all's questions about what Cheryl does. She's been incredible for me and I know she would be awesome for you too.